Awesome. Let's hit it. Welcome everybody, and thank you so much for joining us last minute. Um, so this is a call with R D Ratanjit Singh, and we're going to be discussing about some conversations about the future. And um, we have put you on mute, like for the purpose of this call. And if you do have any questions, if there's something that you'd like some clarity around, please send us a message in the chat group, and we will take it. Shweta. Yeah. Yes. So welcome, Ardi. Hi. Welcome, welcome, Ardi, to this conversation about the future. Thank you. And we are so grateful to have you here. So. Well, like this, let's just start with whatever you want to go with about the future and what are you aware of or whatever it is that you would like to tell us. Okay. Yeah, so uh, what I'd like to say about the, about the future is that in this reality in which we live in, people don't talk about the future. They don't think about the future. They don't see the future. We're all living from the past and we try to create a present from the past and that's why if you see in access we have various processes all which get get you to give up your past like give up your being an immortal soul give it, giving up your karmas and all so that you can move up to the future and create something for the future however i would just like to mention here that creating for the future is not very comfortable because we know the past awesome. for the future we know nothing when we know the past, we try to look at all the past things and how we've done things in the past and we try to follow that ref, those reference points to create our, our present and the future, which we think will be a future. But then you know that Einstein's quote comes to mind that you know you keep doing the same thing, expecting a different result. That's insanity. And that's what we do. We keep doing the same thing over and over again and we expect a different result to show up. It cannot show up. We have to do something different if we are to create the future. If you want to create something that has never been created before, then you can't work on the past. Amazing. So can I ask you a question? Yes. Like we have been having this conversation about we have to choose something different, we have to choose something different, and it doesn't have to be from the past, and yet there is a projection of the future. But when we... Like, I know it's, it sounds like a very simple and might be a stupid question, but when we say something different and you also just said that it's not comfortable, would you like to elaborate please on that? Like, what is that different and the uncomfortable bit? And what is it that we have to do really? Like when you say create your future or generate, what, what do you get? What is that? How do we do that? If you want to create a future that has never been created before, how can you function from the past? How can you function from your mind? Your mind is only full of stuff that it has read, heard, experienced and done. Nothing new can ever come from your mind. And we 99% of the time function from our minds. Yeah. If you go to any business school, they will teach you case study. You know, that's a very good instrument that they teach you how to solve problems in business school. You say that this company had this problem in 2010 and this, 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 and this is all you solved it. So if you have a similar problem, use that. But you cannot because 2010 is gone, not 2020. There is social distancing. How can you do the same thing again? You can't. Right. You have to do something different. So you have to, you have to then look at the future. But what is the future? So what is it? So the future is a space. Okay. It's a, it's a space in which you create. How do you create in the future? You don't know what's going to show up because you have never been there. You've never been in the future. So you have this space in which you get wisps of something showing up. Wisps of something showing up here. Something different showing up here. They're all wisps. You know, little, little tingling thing. You get some sort of an awareness of this thing is possible, that thing is possible, but there's nothing concrete or solid which you can say that this is what I want to do. Yeah. That's the future. And from that space where there's nothing, you get out of these wisps and you see what is it that we would like to create. And that is the time that you can start really creating for the future. Wow. That, that is actually so exciting, you know, and with all the conversations that have been going on with Gary Dane, Simone Brendan, and on all the um, different future calls, like literally every uh, uh, 
the future the access is access is talking about a different future with the lockdown and everything so what do you get as now what kind of a future is available to us particularly because whatever so two questions i have for you one is that with the current situation how is it now different than it was earlier what is now possible what do you get is possible how do we create different now because we're talking about this difference and the the discomfort that comes with it and the wisps and it not being concrete what do you get can we now create and so if you look on the world today yeah we use we just get an idea and awareness of what's happening in the world today people are actually afraid yeah they are afraid they, they and they don't know what will what is going to show up in the future and they are functioning basically from fear fear of what's going to happen now but if you really if we people who are into you know trying to create consciousness in our life if we look around i mean at least i get what a lovely feeling look at the earth yeah you know look at the earth it's it's so beautiful it's so calm it's so contributive to us and all all the things show up in magical ways and different ways which, which others can't see for others it's a problem because what is the what is the difference between how the others look at the world and especially the people who are in control of the various nations who are techies basically yeah. is how to consume and destroy the world all the capitalistic and all the other types of governments and uh, businesses are all aimed at consumption of the earth you want to consume the earth and finish it off yeah but that will not work in the future the earth is saying you tried once more i'm going to kick you so hard you won't know where to sit down <laughs> but to sit down you won't have a butt which you can sit down amazing i just could i just add here yeah please so as like thank you so much for bringing up the, the whole conversation around the earth there have been so many calls recently in the past around you know uh, receiving from the earth staying connected to the earth etc is there anything that you would like to um, any tool or any any way of how do you do it or what is it like can you talk a little more about this connection to the earth and that associated with the future so so actually uh, if you look at us if you all look look, look within yourselves you will find that we are mostly interested in controlling the way things show up in our lives we love to be in control but when you are in control you are cutting out all your receiving so what you got to do is shift from controlling to receiving and when you are receiving you are receiving you connect with what whatever you want to connect whoever you want to connect including the earth and just have no barriers no judgments no projections no expectations and be in total allowance of what shows up and magic will show up that is the receiving you have to be today most people a functioning from a control how can i control the six so that i i don't get very uncomfortable how can i control my money my this my that whatever you are doing but if you just give up your control and ask the earth and ask the universe to contribute to you and you're willing to receive so you have to give up your control and if you give up your control you cannot receive that's amazing thank you you give up your control so um are you what what else uh, would you like to tell us about there's a future class coming up with gary on the 3rd june oh yeah i heard about this yeah so that for i th- i think that's that's such a huge invitation uh, what do you get about it what would you like to talk more about um, that and how gary is a, what is gary aware of what is he leading the world to if you're willing to choose it and what can we receive because you just spoke about receiving what can we receive from there the gary is a person who really functions from the future he doesn't function from the past and the present he uses the present to start creating for the future and when he's talking about the future he's not talking about paying the uh, the bills or to to clear the problems that are going on he's looking at possibilities what are the possibilities that can come up in the next 50 years 100 years 1000 years 5000 years what can we create on this planet earth so that this earth becomes a sustainable entity which is contributing to us for the next 10000 years yeah. that is what he looks at he doesn't look at just you know creating something here i've got the problem so he doesn't look at 
he looks at possibilities what else is possible yeah and it seems so simple right when you just say oh what else is possible it yeah. seems so simple yeah but we when we think of possibilities we don't really think, think of prob- possibilities we look at probabilities true so if i do this what is the probability of me getting something different showing up so we don't really genuinely change and do something different because we are afraid and is that the control that you were talking about is this what you were saying that control is yes and also if you know you know you are now at a phase where today the world is on the edge of a cliff there's a big abyss in front and you see from here you get a beautiful view of the future it's a wonderful view but you are quite happy sitting here you we pitched our tents here and we got a bonfire going and we got a pigs being roasted and barbecued and we are we eating that and we are, oh we got a lovely future ahead but that is not the future so going into the future you need to leap off that cliff and when you leap off that cliff you will grow the wings that you always had and you're not aware of and you will fly off into a future which even you cannot dream no one can dream and imagine that is the future that gary talks about that is the future that we all have possible to us if we are just willing to trust ourselves trust consciousness and trust that the universe always has our back amazing the total yeah. mic drop <laughs> yeah. thank you so much thank you so much for that it was so beautiful thank you Yeah are you uncle would you uh, like in your words and with your energy which is like so freaking amazing would you uh, invite everybody who's in this call who watch it in the future uh, what would you say to invite them to Gary's class i mean he's a big invitation himself but i wonder what you could say that everyone is willing to hear okay so look uh, you all are doing great you all are on a beautiful path of consciousness you all try to change your world and create a different reality for yourselves so you know you have a choice would you like to take a make a choice which is just taking care of predictability it's predictable that this may change in my life or are you looking to create possibilities which you haven't even seen so far which you cannot even imagine so far because they've never been created they're not there if you are willing to get on and create something phenomenal i'd suggest you come for gary's class because he is a person who genuinely operates from the future he will genuinely give you processes and tools and give you how you can really start creating and looking at the future genuinely and not just you know doing little bit of tinkering here and there and trying to oh i've got a different future just because it's not making uh, uh, x phone you made a y phone but you got to make a <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, I, if anyone really wants to create a future which they which they can't imagine, I'd suggest you come for that call, that one day call by Gary. It, And it's, it's so amazing because it's a one entire day class after the longest time. I've never come across a one full day class with Gary ever before. Like, yeah, he does a lot of tele calls, and I wonder what he is aware of the future right now, and I wonder what. what is available for all of us to choose it's an entire day with gary and yeah it's on the 3rd of june i think it's on houston time we will get you the details if anybody is interested to know more about the program there's information on the access consciousness website as well as you can get in touch with either uh, shweta or sangeeta or myself and we'll give you more information hey, and this class is being translated in hindi too by the way <laughs> so um, i'll send you the details you know. yes So if, so if you think access the future with access includes hindi please get in touch with us and we can tell you how to go about it yeah and rd rd sir you uh, i would really like to have feedback on uh, because i know you were listening to the hindi um, uh, in the last class when we were with the esb in mumbai uh, would you like to actually um, just let us know if that uh, is any different from uh english because when we are doing in the uh, everyone was asking for hindi is obviously getting the english audios as well as the hindi ones but what is your take on uh, the language that has been added to access classes yeah i i personally my my opinion about the hindi translation is that firstly it blew my mind away 
that you could translate everything that that guy that that Dane was saying in a lifetime and pretty coolly close to what he was saying. The only time, only thing for me was that as my Hindi isn't too good, some of the Hindi trans words used sounded like Greek to me, but otherwise it was beautiful. I'm sure people who understand Hindi would really have enjoyed it. But I thought it was amazing. I never expected it to be so good. Awesome. Thank you for that. And yes, and a lot of people do say that uh, we don't get it, the words are difficult, but um, we try to make the live translation as close to the speaking language as possible. Um, the written translation is so different than the live translation of contribution. Yep. But um, thank you for saying what you said. We're like very, very grateful. What else would you like to tell us about? Uh, is there anything else showing up for anyone here? Oh, Nate, thank you. Nate. Uh, Shweta, uh, Nancy here. I just wanted to tell you that Hindi translations are so amazing. Thank you for you and Sangeeta. You are such a gift. Because when I hear the same thing in Hindi, the energy is like, it feels like, like it has increased like 10 times more. The way that uh, it's so beautiful. I, I don't have words to express it, but thank you for what you do. Um, I really, in a class by Gary, this will be a beautiful opportunity for you to really get to sense his energy. Like you see how phenomenal his, just his presence in, in the class is. Like, like what Gary says is that we have to be a catalyst to create a future. What is the catalyst who is going to create a future? The catalyst walks into the room and things start to change on its own. He has to do nothing. He just, his presence is enough to change things. And that's what Gary does. When he's in the class, everything starts to change. So if you haven't experienced that, please do come. Absolutely. Thank you so much for saying that, Adi Uncle. I think just being in a class where the carry begins to change your energy and it gives you the sense of possibilities. Like just, never like the, just like the sense you gave us with this call and this class. Yeah, thank you so absolutely. much for, thank thank you you. for agreeing to do this and like being such a beautiful invitation. Um, yeah, I mean, like, there's such a space available right now and I'm super excited for this and yeah unless we do not have any other question we'd like to um I'd like, can i can i just recommend something i'd like mm -hmm. nate nate is here with us today he just posted the link to the class so nate would you like to come online and just give us a quick thing about what is this class for you would you like that uh give me one second hang on he's wearing his clothes is he <laughs> <laughs> yeah the future is naked, you know. <laughs> <laughs> naked with Nate. <laughs> Are you in Mumbai? Uh, no, I'm not in Mumbai. I'm in I'm in Seoul, Korea now. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, no, I, I w I'm wearing clothes. I had to put my earphones on. <laughs> um, yeah. So this class. Uh, I'm super excited about this class because I haven't had a class with Gary, uh, not like this for a, a very long time. Um, and also for me, like the idea of future and choosing for the future has really been coming up a lot in the last couple months and looking at um, the choices that I make and not, not really how does it create my life for the next week or the next couple months, but what are the choices that I make now that are creating for years or even decades into the future? And the, the access way of looking at the future has really kind of shifted my perspective of future and the way that I make choices or even the way that I look at, at possibilities for me. So, um, just to be able to spend this amount of time with Gary and he, you know, he's so great, not just with what he has to say, but energetically being kind of in, in his presence. I know that sounds kind of hokey, but um, yeah, he just is such an energetic presence and, and being able to have this class about the future. And then, I mean, to get a recording every time I listen to classes, that's such a gift to listen to it again and again. I mean, I have classes this year, like the Mumbai ESB. I mean, I'm still, <laughs> I still listen to that. 
Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just super excited about this class and another way to, to become aware of the future that's possible for myself and, and for everyone and for the planet. And yeah, so I'm, I'm really, really happy for it. Yeah. Thank you so much for that, Nate, because you know, that bit that you spoke about, uh, it's almost sounding hokey, but then that bit around, you know, when you're in the presence of someone who is willing to demand and choose a different future, you, you are choosing it. Even at that moment, if you're unable to think it through or, you know, have that logical way of, oh my God, this is going to the future. The energy that he creates and the energy that the class is, you choose it. And that was brilliant. So thank you so much for that, Nate. Uh, the prerequisite to this class, uh, Nate, it's I guess the foundation. It's the foundation. foundation class. Foundation, yeah. You can uh, hop on. It's a one full day class with Gary, and it's on the third of June. And unless we have, do we do we have something else to say? Are the parting well, words of wisdom? <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to add. There are questions around the energy exchange. It's obviously available in the link. It's twelve hundred euros. Uh, that's uh, with country pricing. So for India, it would be at 65% of 1,200 euros. So if you go onto your access site, uh, login page, just uh, log in and your price will pop. Yeah. India is, man, that's just so <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's a you almost, wanna, you uh, almost want to be Indian, don't you? <laughs> there are distinct want. advantages. <laughs> almost is. Cool. Yeah. So. All right, guys. Thank you so thank much, you so guys. Much. Thank you, Shweta, Datu, Arya, Thank you, everyone, for joining us. And thank, thank you for your patience while we were trying to get you on Facebook and we couldn't. We apologize profusely publicly. <laughs> and we're very grateful that you hung on with us and we could do this. And we are very, very grateful to everyone uh, to join in last minute. And I wonder... Uh, what else is possible now? Thank you for the contribution. Thank you, Nate, for your contribution. Thank you for jumping on last minute. And thanks, Datu. Thanks, Sangeeta. And, and I'm, I'm just like so looking forward to this class. Like, what Yay! Yes. Hey, see you guys. See you all in class. Thanks, guys. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.